I know you were pushed into it, as you will be at this stage, of describing it as must-win, um, this game. Um, but it, it was must-win and, and you haven't won it. Is that acceptable in this situation, to, to not win a game like that against Oldham? Why wouldn't it be acceptable? It's, it, it's, it's a game, it's, and I'm not trying to be clever. It's, mm -hmm. um, if it's not acceptable, then there has to be consequences. If there's consequences, there's consequences. Um, I could make all the excuses in the world under the sun, and people would have, probably wouldn't listen. It's, it's, it's irrelevant. I think um, today the lads have given their all. We we tried to win. In hindsight, and, and retrospectively, after the event, you look and you think, well, why didn't we perform that way prior to scoring? We got the ball forward. It's certainly not a coaching thing. It's certainly not from from our side that we're actually asking to sit deeper. We're not. It's a, it's a fair factor, and that's that's what the players have uh, been under for the last few weeks. And, and we didn't have enough leaders and did enough experience in the group to pull us through and that's that's where we are the the ones who we did have were, were consistently injured um since sort of february march and um i've been i've been trying to shape a team and organize a team and it's uh, it's been difficult but again that sounds like an excuse people either take it on board or they won't if they don't then that's fine absolutely fine um i'm more disappointed than anybody is and I want to be the one to put it right, so whether I get the opportunity or not, who knows? Um, in terms of the, the position with the players, you know, is it just are they just not quite good enough to do it? You know, you're saying that they've given their all out there today. They had to win, they had to beat Oldham. That wasn't the best Oldham team we've seen, even though they had some bright moments in there and, and they haven't. Are they just are they just not good enough? No, I'm not saying they're not good enough. I think it's up for other people to judge. We'll, we'll make that assumption at the very end of the season. Um, that assessment rather at the very end of the season. I've got my own ideas, but I'm not going to divulge them right at this moment. I understand that um, you know you've got a really tough position, Graham. I understand that you need to evolve the squad. I understand you inherited a situation where you didn't have a great deal of budget, but there was two parts to your job. There was to do that, and there was to keep Carlisle in League One. Do you think that you should continue if you don't manage to keep the Cumbrians in the third division of English football? That won't be my decision. That'll be somebody else's. Do you think you deserve the chance, though, to, to have more of a crack at trying to turn this Carlisle team around? I know you've got the ideas, I know that you've got the heart and the spirit, but do you think you deserve that if you don't keep them in League One? I'd like to think I do. I think I took over six games, two points. Um, club was going nowhere, the team was going nowhere. Um, managed to rally it, managed to get it back on side. We've had a horrendous injury uh, crisis since, since I took over. The one lack of... Uh, the one thing I probably lacked in the, in the, in the, as a new manager, and everybody would would um, would now probably highlight because I'm identifying it myself, is that come January, I put my faith and trust in, in senior players that um, I thought would remain fit, and, and, and no, none of us could foresee the fact that that wasn't the case. There was no money to spend. Um, every player I brought in was short term on a very minimal amount of contract. We didn't pay any full wages. Actually, I tell a lie, we did one um, for any player that's come in and loan. And we've been scrimping and scraping all the way through, and I think in the cold light of day, when people have reflected and and, um, and looked back on on the season, um, it needed it, ne it needed reshaping the squad probably in January. I felt that when I first got the job, you know, I thought with the FA Cup run we had, we'd be able to uh, reinvest, but we weren't because of uh, attendances. So it's been a snowball effect. Um, if I'm the the culprit and I'm taking the, the brunt of, of what's going on. As I said before, I'm ugly enough and big enough to, to be able to do that, but um, I'd like to think that people would be realistic, would see um, that it's the very same squad, more or less, apart from the loans, with, um, with Pascal, Nacho Novo, and I can't even remember the other one, who brought in permanently, but um, on very short contracts with three and four month deals, and that was the market we were working in.